This is WWJ Whipping with Joe. We have a, a friend I met this morning. He met me popping at one ear. I popped like 10, 12 o'clock, 10 at 1 o'clock, and 10 at 9 o'clock down on that wave. And then uh, he said he's going to follow me. So, uh, and uh, well, what's your name? I met him this morning, but he's going to introduce himself here. Hi, I'm Noah from Australia. Nice to meet you. Oh, Australia. <laughs> That's the third country that watches my videos the most. Yeah, we love fishing. Pre I, yeah, from Australia. I, cool, that, but you're not a fisherman. <laughs> Well, not no, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I just do this for fun, really. It's not. I, I, I have done this on challenging. But anyway, I made this lure in 2015. Remember, I started in 2012. Okay. Lost 13 my first year. Yeah. I've only lost 16 in nine years after that. So I'm getting pretty good. One and a half. Yeah. But this is called a Papa Joe. I made this lure in 2015. Right. Uh, specifically made for me. It's a pat. It's a patented lure. Everybody's trying to copy it. The reason why I like it, all my lures are that way, is there's a weight on the back end. It doesn't move, it's stationary. And the reason why I like that lure to be back here is because when I throw it, it'll go against the wind. I don't know if you see it when I was throwing it, it goes against the wind. Yeah. So the weight's so the weight's in the back end. So when it sinks, it just floats. You don't sink, but when it floats, it's like this in the water. So when you pull it, up that way. So my objective is I do a crank and pop. A lot of people say this retrieve existed. No, no, it doesn't exist. I'm one of the only ones who started this, this retrieve I have. Whenever you crank, you gotta pop the rod. All the time. Whenever you go down, this comes up. It's automatic. The rhythm is boom, 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 boom. And you do it all the time. And not over 12 inches, it's real short. So what happened is the lure is on the top of the water. And it's skipping. That's out of 52 strikes. I tell people, watch the action of my lure before the fish strikes the lure. It's telling you something. It's not like this, it's like this. It's telling you something, it's the action of the lure. I tell people, it's the action of the lure and how many times I throw. I'm telling you, it's gonna hit before the 10th throw. I mean, it's pretty interesting, but anyway. So, but now, the way it goes, what I do is I, 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 I throw my like, fishing straight in front of me, and then I walk, I normally walk backwards and then just throw it this way, in this angle. I'm walking that way. I don't normally throw against the wind this way. I normally go walk here. I just throw it this way and I'm, I'm popping. And I'm going to walk all the way down there. I don't even want to follow me. I'm going to go about a quarter mile down there and come on back. So I just throw in and, and pop. So that's all I do. By the way, this is number real number 82, by the way. It's a Stratic. It's the newest one on the block. <laughs> newest one in the block. Do you want to throw this thing? No? You want to try? <laughs> Anyway, so this is this is what you call a crank and pop. See, whenever you crank and you pop in it, so if you look at the lure, you see it's on top of the water. You see it? It's on top of the water. And you see the tail? Uh -huh. Yeah. See, it's, on, it's still skipping on the top. So and, and so the so the fish knows where it's at, basically. So I just throw up there. I I, I walk backwards. I, I I walk against the wind. And just cranking and popping. <laughs> the biggest one I've lost here. He hit me on the second cast. It took 280 hours of 50 pound braid in 27 seconds. You you see it on my YouTube channel. It's a it's a mean strike. Oh, he took he took it on the second strike and took off and never came back. <laughs>